Hey, this is Brian from ConvertingEV.com. So I had a friend ask me recently about what a pre-charge circuit is and uh, whether they needed one for their conversion. A pre-charge circuit is important. If you have a main contactor in your vehicle, you need a pre-charge circuit. And uh, it's not too complicated of a circuit or of a, an idea. So I just wanted to show it to you on the whiteboard real quick and give you a walkthrough. Um, I guess first, if you don't know, a contactor, a main contactor, all it is is a big relay. And a relay, if you don't know, all it is is an electronically controlled switch. So, actually, I have an automotive relay broken apart here. It's just a coil. And when it, you run power through the coil, it magnetizes and pulls the switch shut. Um, this is just a basic automotive 12-volt relay. And a contactor, luckily I got one here too. Here's a contactor, this is a big one from Curtis. Um, drives a ton of power. You run 12 volts through it and it will slam this switch shut here. Um, so that's, that's what it is. Um, you need them. In most controllers or most inverters, will require you to have one. Um, the controllers will control them differently depending on what you use. But regardless, they need a pre-charge circuit. If you're, especially if you're in high voltage, maybe if you're about below 60 volts, if you're a golf cart maybe, uh, or a lower e-bike build, you don't, maybe you don't need one. But higher voltage you do, and this is why. So you have, let's say a high voltage battery pack, and it could be as high as, uh, I guess, Really common is up to 400 volts um, for a lot of conversions, and that's a lot of power. It's the contactor separates your main battery pack from the load when it's not being used, and the load is your inverter normally, and the inverter has capacitance, meaning it can store some charge, which means when it's been sitting idle, it'll drain to zero volts normally, and that zero volts is a very big difference from 400 volts. And when you close the switch from 400 volts to zero volts, there's some current is going to flow until this capacitance is charged or preloaded, loaded. So when you do that, there's going to be a spark here. And we don't want sparks in our main contactor every single time it closes. Um, but 400 volts to zero volts is going to spark. And that spark is going to cause damage over time and that damage can even cause a main contactor to get stuck closed and that can be really dangerous. So we need a pre-charge circuit to prevent the sparks. So this is how we create a pre-charge circuit. You grab both sides of the main contactor, which, sorry of my ugly drawing, it's just a switch with a coil <laughs> with a 12 volt source. Um, so for the pre-charge, you add a little automotive switch relay. This is the same thing as above, just small. So we have a small 12 volt automotive relay and it will run to a resistor. This will eliminate a massive flow of current, slow it down and allow the, the voltage to balance. It'll set the, when your controller decides to pre-charge the circuit, it'll turn on the 12 volt relay, it'll allow current to flow this way, and then charge up the capacitors in your inverter, and then this side will become 400 volts, and this side will be 400 volts, and then this can close. It, re it takes only like a second, um, so it's not a big delay or anything, but it does a huge amount of preventative um, damage to your main contactor. So this little 12 volt relay doesn't spark because a resistor slows down that current and allows it to change the voltage over a span of time instead of instantaneous. So that's why it's important. And they're not too hard to do. Um, you just need your, see I dropped, oh, right here. This is my pre-charge resistor. It's a 20 watt, 30 ohm. Normally the spec sheet of your inverter or your build somewhere will show what it is. Um, I often reuse them from OEM 
vehicles too, like the Chevy Volt, um, has a pre-charge resistor in their main contactors in the battery pack. Um, so I'm just going to run this and a relay around the main contactor. So not too hard.